Assalamu alaikum. I am Rehma Mohammed, the principal of Islamia Girls Institute. Our school is situated on 7 Press Avenue, Crown Mines, Johannesburg. We share campus with our sister school, the, the International School of Cordoba. Built in 1909 by Herbert Baker, the site was declared a provincial heritage site in February 1989. The school offers an Islamic environment in which learners are taught according to the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The idea of the school was born out of a great need in our community for a girls' school with an Islamic environment in which Sharia laws are upheld. The school's aim is to provide the correct foundation for its learners so that they will be well prepared to enter any field in which they desire. We place strong emphasis on Islamic manners, behavior, punctuality, Islamic dress code, and mutual trust for fellow pupils and utmost respect for the staff and parents. We strive to achieve excellence academically, spiritually, morally, socially. What makes Islamia girls a notch above the rest is our school's culture and the environment in which the learners are taught. Being a school of 40 girls, we work as a family unit. Learners engage with each other as they would their siblings. Educators are mother figures for our learners. Irregular or unusual behavior is picked up immediately and addressed with both learner and parent. Islamia has been registered with the Gauteng Department of Education from 2013. The year, this year we'll see our fifth matric class graduate from Islamia Girls. We have achieved brilliant results thus far and we are, busy, we are in the process of being accredited by Umalusi. The girls start their day by performing Ishraq Salah, which allows them to eradicate minor sin and allows the girls the benefit of starting their day without sin as well as the benefit of performing an Umrah. They then recite Surah Yasin. In Ramadan, our programs are intensified. More emphasis is placed upon um, inculcating good Islamic practice and values. Our day begins like every other day with our Nafil Salah and the recitation of Surah Yasin. Girls are encouraged to recite more a thicker and, and more til and tilawat of the Quran. On Friday, the girls perform Surah Kahaf and recite Salawat, 99 names of Allah, the four calls and Ayatul Kursi. The girls are taught about the importance of Salah, the benefit of completing a khatam of the Qur'an and most importantly, how one should behave with each other. Islam is not just a religion, it is a way of life. Learners are taught the importance of one's behavior in dealing with each other, the spirit of charity and forgiveness. In Ramadan, our days are shortened to accommodate the learners and educators to perform extra ibadah. Shukr, with the mercy and blessings of Allah, we still get to complete both our Islamiyat and our secular uh, curriculum. I wish all the ITV learners all the best in Ramadan. May the glory and blessings of Allah reign upon you in this blessed month. I wish all the ITV viewers the best in Ramadan. May the glory and blessings of Allah reign upon you in this holy month. I would like to thank the ITV staff for extending this opportunity as being uh, and being part of your Ramadan special. Jazakallah. Challenges only students would understand during the month of Ramadan. Picture this. It's the first day of Ramadan and I am sitting in maths class. Not just maths class, geometry. And the formula for a circle is pi r squared. Hmm, pi. I don't remember much of that lesson. Finally, it's break time. No food. Might as well go back to class. That was the longest break ever. In fact, longest day ever. Eventually, iftar comes around. 
Greedily, I look at all the food around me. My intention is to eat everything in sight. Two samosas and a pie later, I am done. Mahrib, Quran, homework, Isha, Tarawi study, and then I'm not sure if I fall asleep or pass out. It feels like I took a nap and it's already seri. You can talk to me if you want, but you'll be lucky if you get a growl back. Where am I going wrong? My intention is to be closer to Allah and I am trying to do everything right, but it becomes more mechanical and I forget to enjoy those auspicious months of Ramadan. I have embraced it fully. This Ramadan, I challenged myself to love Quran more than Pai. Allah Ta'ala says in Surah Baqarah, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Inna Allah la yuhibbu tawabina wa yuhibbu al-mutatahirin. Verily, Allah loves those who are always done in repentance and those who purify themselves. Jazakallah. رفقت عينا يا شوقا ولغيبة درفت عشقا فأتيت إلى حبيبي فاهدأ يا قلب ورفقا صلي على محمد السلام عليك يا يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا حبيبي يا نبي الله يا رسول الله قلب بالحق تعلق وبغاري راء تعلق يبكي يسأل خالقه فأتاه الوحي فأشرق اقرأ اقرأ يا محمد السلام عليك يا يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا حبيبي يا نبي الله يا رسول الله يا طيبة جئت بصفا لرسول الله محبا بالروضة سكنت روحي وبوال الحاد محمد يا طيبة جئت بصفا لرسول الله محبا بالروقة سكنت روحي وجوال الحاد محمد السلام عليك يا يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا حبيبي يا نبي الله يا رسول الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما كان على النبي من حرج فيما فيما فرض الله له سنة الله في الذين خلوا من قبل وكان أمر الله قدرا مقدورا الذين يبلغون رسالات الله ويخشونه ولا يخشونه ولا يخشون أحدا إلا الله وكفى بالله حسيبا ما كان محمد آباء أحد من رجالكم من رجالكم ولكن رسول الله وخاتم النبيين وكان الله بكل شيء عليما يا أيها الذين آمنوا ذكروا الله آمنوا ذكر الله ذكرا كثيرا وسبحوه بكرة وأصيلا هو الذي يصلي عليكم وملائكته وملائكته ليخرجكم من الظلمات إلى النور وكان بالمؤمنين رحيما تحيتهم يوم يلقونه السلام وعدت لهم أجرا كريما يا أيها النبي إنا أرسلناك شاهدا إنا أرسلناك شاهدا ومبشرا ونذيرا 
وَدَعِيَنِ إِلَى اللَّهِ بِإِذْنِهِ وَسِرَاجًا مُنِيرًا وَبَشِّرِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ بِأَنَّ لَهُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ فَضْلًا كَبِيرًا وَلَا تُتِعِ الْكَافِرِينَ وَالْمُنَافِكِينَ وَدَأَذَهُمْ وَتَوَكَّلْ أَلَى اللَّهِ وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ وَكِيْنًا سَرَكَ اللَّهُ الْعَذِيمُ Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. On behalf of the Great Ten class of Islamia Girls Institute, we would like to recite a poem concerning the beloved month of Ramadan. A time for our hearts to become unsealed, reflecting on the divine words revealed. The month which we hope to never end, unable to come the blessed eternity it sends. Ask by our Lord to give up our worldly pleasures so that we may receive his divine treasures. It is a time that comes but once a year, yet the moments which we hold the most dear. The night spent in prayer and reflection prepares us all for redemption. Praying to our Creator for mercy and wisdom, pleading to be admitted into his kingdom. We welcome you, O Ramadan, with joy as our guest, having to subdue our egos as a test. <clears throat> you mend our hearts and give us tranquility as we engage in battling our iniquity. Fasting not only our body but our speech, it is your benevolence which you beseech. O oh, Ramadan, you have blessed us with your presence teaching us to grow from our spiritual adolescence. Continue to be the month which will always bless, helping us to alleviate our fears and distress. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Apa Radia Mia from Islamia Girls Institute and I'm Apa Fahima. We would like to firstly tell you about a little bit about our school during the month of Ramadan. Uh, we obviously we start off, we, we, empathy, we have empathy with the learners so uh, we go home early in the month of Ramadan. We try and Islamize the curriculum while we're teaching the learners. We uh, also emphasize on the importance of making the khatam of the Quran and um, we also reduce the amount of homework we give learners during the month of Ramadan so it makes it easier for them to also make ibadat at home, read Tarawih, we uh, remind them about the benefits of reading Tarawih, we remind them about the eating healthy during uh, Seri so that they can focus during the month of Ramadan. We at Islamia Girls Institute would like to wish everyone a blessed Ramadan and have a good one. Jazakallah. Wishing you smiles and all things nice. May this Eid bring you all the happiness, joy, laughter, love that you deserve. I love you, Mama Ji. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ramadan Mubarak to all from Islamia Girls Institute. And remember, we are one. We are Islamia Girls Institute. Ramadan Mubarak to all. And remember, we are one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Kakuchi Zinat Isa from Islamia Girls Institute. I wish all the Muslims in the world a blessed Ramadan and a happy Eid day. From Islamia Girls Institute, we hope everyone is having a blessed and prosperous month of Ramadan. May Allah grant us all the ability to take full benefit of what's left of this auspicious month and take our iman from strength to strength.